Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. So if it's about Revit, why am I having AutoCAD on my screen at the moment? What's going on? Well, that's because today let's see how we can link this CAD file into Revit and then make it cuttable. I want to switch back now very quickly to Revit and make a new blank model. Any template you want to use for now is fine. And let's imagine we have to link in that CAD file there as a context for our new design. Let's go to 3D and do link CAD. Is that one there? Positioning method doesn't matter for now. And as you can see, because it's a 3D CAD object, now you have a 3D element in Revit. Look nice enough for now. How about we go to level 1 and see what's going on. Doesn't look so bad, isn't it? But something is a bit off. As you know, we're looking at level 1 floor plan. But this looks more like a site plan. Let's make a section now and show what's going on. As you can see, this is the level 1, because now you can see the name there, it's actually underground. The building is actually way above there, and also the trees. However, when you see level 1 floor plan, it looks as if this level is way up here, and we're looking down from the high sky above. That's just wrong. This is because whenever you have this kind of object in Revit, the views don't work properly on them. Another problem I can see now is this building there. If I move this section a bit up to this place and open it again, you still have the building in that section, even though it should be behind the section plane and not showing up. So just like with floor plan, when you go and make section or elevation with this 3D cat file inside, they won't display correctly. The question now is, how can we fix this? Uh, there are two ways, I'll show you both. What people usually do is this, they go to file and make a new family. They then try to choose the most appropriate category, in my case, Maybe site is good for this context, so I'm going to go with that. And then they will go to insert, try to link it in, realize they cannot, it's not available in the family editor. So they had to then import the cat file. That's not too bad, but how about we place it now into the project? Maybe off to this side. I will then expand this section and see what's going on. Go to here, go to view. And yes, it looks a bit better. You now don't see the building because it's behind the section plane. Your trees display nicely. You don't see this big tree because it's behind the plane as well. But if you check back with level 1 floor plan, it's still showing the site plan. Another problem with this approach is when you look at the file size for this CAD object, it could be as big as 100 megabytes for some CAD files I've seen before. And because we imported it into a family, now it's of that size or roughly the same size. When you insert this family into this project, the project's file size also increase by roughly the same amount. As you can see now how quickly this escalates. This can really hurt your project performance. The model can really slow down. So what's the better option? The better option is this, at least for me. When I go to here, I can select this CAD file here and then copy it to the clipboard. And next, I can go and make a new in-place component. Now, before you frown upon me for, for making in-place components, just wait it out. We have things to show. I'll make this a side component as well. Let's name this context number one. And remember, we copy this object to the clipboard. Clipboard, 
it's still there. I can now go to modify and then paste it to a level. Any level in my experience should work fine. If they uh, make your CAD file land at a lower or higher position than you want it to be, then just choose a different level another time. So nothing seems to happen, but here you can see we have pasted this into the same place. That's why they don't show really as an additional object. Let's move this one to the side here so we can see it clearer. So copy its element, original element. Let's go and finish this in-place component. And immediately you see an improvement, do you? This is now looking more like a floor plan. We are slicing through the building at the right level. We don't see the top of our trees anymore. Much better than this family. How about in section? Let's extend this here and check for ourselves. It looks just like the family version. That's a family there and that's the in-place component. Another advantage is this. In terms of file size, if I now go to manage links, This linked CAD is what I see here and there. I'll prove it. If I now unload it, it disappears both here and here. This one forever stays in the project and slow it down. These two, they don't. They are LinkedIn references. So if I bring them back, even from a newer version, if I updated the digital G, they will show one more time. And we don't need this. We made a copy here in the in-place component. So I can now just unpin this one and delete it. This family version can go as well. And here I have a fully functioning LinkedIn cat object that behaves well in my views. Floor plan, sections, you name it. And that's how we deal with this the best way, at least in my opinion. So. I hope that was useful for you. Have a good day and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.